today I'll be showing you how to change the oil in a 9th generation Chevy Impala. This should be the same for all 2006 through 11 3.5 liter V6 models. What you'll need to get started is some 5W30 oil, a new oil filter, a funnel, a ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, optional torque wrench, an oil catch pan, jack stands, a floor jack, some paper towels, and optional creeper. I'll be using Castrol Edge High Mileage 5W30 Full Synthetic and AC Delco PF61E filter for this change. Check the description below for links to order those on Amazon. Let's get started by setting the parking brake, pulling the hood release, and opening the hood. Use the floor jack to lift the front end of the car from the center of the frame just in front of the engine. You'll only need to lift it high enough so that you can get under there and take out the drain bolt as well as take off the oil filter. Slide some jack stands under the corner of each side of the frame just for some added safety while you're working under there. Use the 15 millimeter socket and ratchet to loosen the oil drain plug. It's going to be the bolt sticking out at a 30 degree angle on the back side of the oil pan. Place your oil catch pan underneath the bolt and remove the bolt to drain the oil. While the oil is draining, you can slide the oil catch pan forward so that you can remove the oil filter as well. The oil filter is located just to the front of the oil pan above the circular cutout. You may want to wear a glove during this process as it can get a little messy. Before you reinstall your new filter, take a little bit of oil on your finger and rub it around the gasket on the new filter to lubricate it before reinstalling. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get the thread started on the new filter, but once you have it started, it should screw on easily. You'll want to tighten it until it's snug but don't over tighten the filter. Now it's time to reinstall the drain plug. Inspect the o-ring on the plug to make sure it's in good condition and reinstall it into the oil pan. Next, snug the bolt in place with a 15 millimeter socket. If you do have a torque wrench, that setting is going to be 18 foot pounds of torque. That's it for underneath the car, so remove the jack stands and lower the car all the way back to the ground. Now it's time to remove the oil fill cap. If you twist too far and also take off the extension tube, Make sure you put that back and only remove the top cap. Now it's time to pull out the funnel and start filling with oil. It should take approximately four quarts. After you've given the oil a minute to settle in the bottom, wipe the dipstick off and then check to make sure it's within operating range. Reinstall the oil fill cap, then crank up the engine and let it run for a few minutes. While you're letting the engine idle, this is a great time to cycle through your vehicle information center and clear the oil life by holding down the check button for a few seconds. And you can also release your parking brake at this time. Now shut off the engine, wipe off the dipstick and recheck the oil, adding more oil if it's below the normal operating range. I personally like to make sure mine stays in between the three quarters and full mark whenever I do a fresh oil change. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel for more DIY content. And comment down below with any questions you have or suggestions for future videos.